Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of cleaning motivation. I've got several things that I needed to get done. We had just eaten lunch, so I was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. And then I also had my tablescape that I wanted to undo. That was my spring and Mother's Day tablescape. Also needed to do some cleaning in the living room and getting that straightened up and cleaned. It had been a while since I had dusted, so it was really dusty in there. So it's just in the main great room area where I needed to get some things done. I also needed to make some iced tea. So in this video, I'm showing you how I make my iced tea concentrate. So I'm not constantly having to make tea every day. I hope this video will give you some inspiration to get some things done around your house and maybe even get a few ideas along the way. Earlier in the week, we had done some meal prep by baking some chicken and then roasting a bunch of different types of vegetables. So for lunch, we ended up eating some of the vegetables with some chicken, and then I also made some rice to go along with it. We love doing this. It's a really simple lunch, and it's easy to prepare and also to clean up afterwards. And we've also been doing some intermittent fasting, and so we've started to eat our main meal at lunch, versus at dinner time. For his intermittent fasting, Whitney prefers to skip dinner and eat breakfast and lunch. So that's what we've been doing. And then I've been doing some of the fasting as well. Um, but I prefer to still go ahead and eat a little something in the evening and then I will usually skip breakfast or just start my eating later in the day. I wanted to have some music playing while I was cleaning so I just opened up Spotify on my iPad and let it play like that. I love to listen to some upbeat music while I'm cleaning and sometimes I put on something a little more relaxing if I just want it to be more relaxing but a lot of times I want to be energized while I'm cleaning so I have a couple different different playlist that I use for that. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to do when you're cleaning. Do you turn on the TV or do you listen to music or do you even prefer a podcast? I love podcasts but I usually watch podcasts on YouTube versus just listening to them. So let me know if you have any good ones that you like because I've been thinking about just starting to listen to some podcasts while I'm doing my cleaning. That's something that I also like to do like in the mornings when I'm just putting on my makeup. I'll listen to a podcast or something on YouTube. So let me know if you have any good suggestions for podcasts that you just like to listen to when you're doing cleaning or other things around the house. Except for where we prepped the lunch and all of the leftover dishes, the kitchen was actually pretty clean. So I'm not gonna do too much cleaning in the kitchen other than just cleaning up the dishes and then just wiping off the counters where we ate. But you'll see that I didn't even clean the entire island because we didn't sit there for lunch and the rest of the island was already clean. Did 
did for lunch was reheat things so I wasn't actually cooking anything other than the rice which I just cooked in my rice cooker so nothing made a big mess that needed to be cleaned up so all I did was wipe down the counters with a wet microfiber cloth on the areas where I had either set food or our dishes and things like that um, and then for the stove, I didn't even clean the entire stove because there was no splatter on the stove. I just wiped down the very front part of it around where the knobs were because there was a little bit of grease right there. But the stove itself was still clean, so I just went ahead and left that alone. After wiping down the countertops, I decided to sanitize my scrubbers from the kitchen sink. So I just put my brush and the scrubbers that I use in the microwave for a minute and that will sanitize those and so they're ready to go for the next time I need to use them. If you've been around my channel for a little while, you know that we love iced tea. We drink a lot of it, especially me. I love my Sonic tea, but with quarantine, I had not been going to Sonic. Y'all know in a few of my other videos, I told y'all how I was just reusing my Sonic cup. Well, of course, those got used to death and then I did have to throw them away. So the one that you see in this video is a newer Sonic cup that we went the other day and just got a tea at Sonic. We haven't been out much, but since we decided to start going out a little bit to just do a few things and just get out of the house a little bit, um, we have gone to Sonic. So that is a new Sonic cup, but I'm still making most of my tea at home. Instead of making one pitcher of tea at a time, I like to make iced tea concentrate. That way I have enough made that I can just pull it out of the refrigerator and fill up my pitchers whenever I need it. I keep three of these two quart cylinder pitchers in my refrigerator pretty much all of the time. So that's what we use and we just rotate through those. And then I keep extra concentrate in mason jars that I use to fill these up whenever they're done. The iced tea concentrate, I heat some filtered water in my Breville tea maker, but I just use it on the water cycle and I heat it to 212 degrees so that it's boiling. I use 12 tea bags and I tend to like the Lipton tea and lately I've been getting organic, but the one I'm using right now is not organic because we had gotten an Instacart shopper to get it for us and they ended up getting the regular and not the organic, which is fine. My favorite thing to use to brew the tea is my French press. I pour the water over the iced tea bags in my French press and I just don't put the lid on it. And the reason I like that so much is because it has the tempered glass which can handle the hot water, but it's also pretty thin. So the iced tea cools down fairly quickly compared to having it in a pot or a ceramic pitcher. I do have a ceramic pitcher that I use sometimes but it takes a long time for the tea to cool down when I use that because it's so much thicker. I let the tea brew for five minutes and once the tea's brewed for five minutes, I take the tea bags out and I just set them in a bowl because I do reuse them. So every time I make this, I end up making two batches of concentrate. The second batch won't be quite as strong as the first batch, but sometimes I end up mixing them. Like today, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the two pitchers that I have empty, so then I'll be mixing the second batch still with part of what's left over from the first batch. And if I end up just making concentrate, then I'll keep my second batch. And I know for that one, since it's not as strong, instead of making three pitchers, I'll usually use it for just two of the pitchers, and it usually seems to work out that way. But I always try to get as much as I can out of my tea bags. It's perfectly okay to use them more than once. You just don't wanna leave them out too long in between using them for the second time so they don't get moldy. 
while the tea was cooling, I went ahead and started taking down my spring and Mother's Day tablescape. I really did like this tablescape a lot. I love how the green popped and it brought some color into the room, but I'm ready to go ahead and take it down. I am gonna go ahead and leave the table runner that I had done. I do have a video on this, but if you didn't see for the table runner, all it is is some craft paper that I just bumped up next to each other. And I still like that. And I'm gonna leave that for a while along with my lanterns. And then I'm gonna get some more flowers the next time we get some groceries. So I'll put some more flowers there for the centerpiece later. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of that. So I'm just picking up the place settings and putting all of those things away. This big black cloud is coming down. Falling angels all around. A warm breeze from the subway. As I was taking down my tablescape, I brought all of the glasses over to the butler's pantry area, and then I realized that I was gonna need the stool to be able to put all of the glasses away. I ended up doing that later and forgot to film it, but I did put those glasses away a little bit later. My bunny napkin rings are ceramic, so I like to keep them in Ziploc bags. I find if I bag them each individually and then wrap it with the bag itself once it's sealed and then put it in a larger Ziploc bag, it keeps all of them together. And the plastic from the Ziploc bags is enough of a cushion to help keep them protected. I decided to go ahead and wash all of the plates and silverware before putting any of that back away. So I just loaded those into the dishwasher. And once I had everything loaded, I went ahead and turned the dishwasher on. And then I went ahead and washed the white platter by hand and just put that back on the table. And once I am able to get some more flowers, I will put some flowers on that for another centerpiece. I love doing tablescapes and I love having the table decorated, but then I find that when it's time to take it down and I end up taking everything down and putting it away, that feels so good and satisfying too. So I hope y'all kind of get that out of this video of just how satisfying it is to take all that and put it away. It's almost as if just a little bit of weight is being lifted. So I don't exactly know how to explain it. Let me know if you kind of feel the same way if you do tablescapes and then kind of get that relief when you put it up. There's a part of me that doesn't want to put it away, but then when I do, like I said, it just feels so good to know that it's kind of cleaned off. Y'all know I don't like a lot of clutter around, so when I have a tablescape up for a little while, it can start to feel a little bit cluttered. After I had everything put away for the tablescape, I decided to just get my little feather duster and then I just dusted off the countertop in the back. Like I said, it was pretty much clean, but it does get pretty dusty in this house, especially since our backyard is not done yet. I think once that gets done, we probably won't get quite as much dust in the house, but right now it stays pretty dusty in here. So I'm just going with my feather duster and dusting off that back countertop and then also the table. 
After I finished all of that, it was time to move on to the living room. And by this time, it was kind of the middle of the afternoon. And normally I like to kind of straighten up the couch and everything either in the evening before or in the morning if I didn't do it that night before going to bed. Since I hadn't done it yet, I still wanted to do it even though it was afternoon and we probably were just gonna be messing it up again soon. I still like to have it kind of in order. And while I was cleaning the rest of the living room, it just made it feel good to know that the couch was picked up and clean and the blankets were put away. Everything in the living room was pretty dusty because it had been a while since I had dusted. So I knew that it was gonna need a wet dusting. Sometimes if it's not as dusty, I'll just do a dry dusting. But I knew for this time, I really needed to do a wet dusting. I ended up using some all-purpose cleaner from the grocery store. On one of our Instacart shopping trips, the shopper ended up getting this. I had asked for disinfecting spray and they ended up getting this instead. When they made the substitution, I don't think they understood that all-purpose spray wasn't quite the same as disinfecting, but it's all good. It was still a natural spray that they bought, so I'm using it, and I actually like the smell of it. So I decided to go ahead and use that to dust all of the surfaces. If you've been around my channel for a long time, you know that I often use all-purpose cleaner to dust my furniture. Every now and then, I will use um, a homemade dusting spray, but for the most part, I just use my all-purpose cleaner and it does a great job for just everyday cleaning. For all of my wood tables and the little glass table that's over by the chair, I like to just spray the all-purpose spray on the furniture and then I come back and dust. And what I'll do is I'll use one part of the cloth with it wet and then I'll turn it over to a drier portion of the cloth and help it to dry so that it dries fairly quickly that way. And that seems to work for me where it doesn't leave any streaks. For the media console, I don't like to spray the all-purpose cleaner on that. So for that one, I usually will just spray it on the rag and wipe it down. Or sometimes for that, I'll end up just using a wet rag to clean it. While I was dusting in the living room, I went ahead and dusted the dresser in the entryway too because I also needed to vacuum that. So I felt like if I dusted first, then I could vacuum and it would be all nice and clean like the rest of the living room. I want you to be mine. We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. So won't you come on?
Once I had everything dusted, I went ahead and started vacuuming. And I love my Dyson vacuum. I've talked to y'all about it before, and I do get questions about this. I love that it's cordless, so it's so easy to move around. This is a newer version because my old one had ended up breaking, so we ended up having to get a new one, and I really do like this version of it. I feel like it holds a charge even a little bit longer than my other one did. I think it'll hold a charge up to about 40 minutes where my other one was maybe about 20 minutes. And this one has three levels of suction. So if I keep it on the lowest level of suction or the medium level, it'll hold a charge a lot longer. If you put it on high, then obviously it won't hold a charge as long. I love how easy it is to move around. And then it's also really easy to switch out to be able to use all of the different attachments on it. So you'll see, I had also used one of the attachments to vacuum the ottoman. We have a tufted ottoman. You know, we still have AC hairs that are stuck in there that I'm still getting out. But every time I vacuum, it seems like I'm able to get a little bit more out of there. I really do like this Dyson vacuum cleaner. If you've been thinking about getting one, I would highly recommend it. And I'm gonna go ahead and link it for you in the description box in case you'd like to check it out. Once I'd vacuumed the entryway and the entire kitchen and living room area, I was pretty much done with all of my cleaning, but I did wanna go ahead and put my tea in my pitcher. So I had the concentrate made, and so all I did was fill up two of my pitchers. So the way that I do it, since it's concentrate, is I just put a little bit at the bottom. So about the bottom third of the pitcher, maybe not even quite a third, I'll put in there and then I end up filling the pitchers up with water and it makes the perfect iced tea. And then whatever I had left, I put in a mason jar and I ended up making another batch of concentrate by reusing my same iced tea bags again. And I just mix that in the same mason jar with the concentrate I had left over from this one. That will last in the refrigerator for up to a week. And I love it because that way when we run out of tea in our pitchers, I have the concentrate already made and ready to go. Sometimes I'll make even three or four batches of concentrate at one time. So we have it to last us for the entire week.
hope you've enjoyed this video, maybe picked up a few tips and tricks along the way and gotten some good cleaning motivation. So if there's something you need to get cleaned in your house, hopefully this will help you to get it done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and join our community. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.